Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this afternoon's RTC TV4 coverage as the cast and lady comments are hosting the Triton Lady Trojans. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Aubrey Daig. Aubrey, good afternoon and welcome back. Yes, I am here, ready for another good game of basketball. Well, according to John Harrell, this should be a pretty close game, which should mean a fairly exciting game, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. So, um, John Harrell uh, estimating scores in the 30s and 40s. So, I'm looking forward to a great afternoon of basketball. Uh, it was uh, senior day today. If you happen to miss that, you'll be able to uh, go back and check out the replay footage as it becomes available. And uh, check it out at where our senior ladies were honored. We have uh, two senior girls on the basketball team and then manager Olivia Boldry. So awesome time to celebrate our seniors and uh, hopefully they can continue celebrating with a win this afternoon. Well, just over half a minute, ladies and gentlemen. If you uh, need to go get any final refreshments before we get underway, now's the opportunity to do so. Right, and here in just a moment, we'll have some starting lineups. Number four, Taryn Yates. Number 14, Kinsey Atkins. Number 22, Emma Hepler. Number 24, Abby Veers. And number 32, Lexia Hostrasser. Now for the Lady Comets. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 13, Addison Zimpleman. 
Number 15, Lane Oliver. Number 20, Maddie Smith. And number 35, Jordan Klingler. Good to see Maddie back out here. Last time, last game I watched, she wasn't on the floor. Lady Comets take the opening tip. Was she injured or? Uh, she was out due to contact tracing. Ah, uh, I've heard that's been a really big problem for a lot of schools. Yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, I was informed on Thursday afternoon uh, by, uh, by the studio that between Thursday and today, that RTC4 had seven games taken off the roster. Shot attempt by Klingler off the mark uh, due to uh, those those games were just canceled due to schools being out. Mm. Smith to Zimpleman. Smith for three. And it's good. Mm -hmm. And Atkins across midcourt. Sends it over to Hepler. Oh, we had a foul there on uh, number 32, Lexia Hostrosser. Her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Scales bringing the ball down the floor. Lady Trojans not putting any pressure on. Down to the post, Klingler. Shot was no good. through that center ring. Thought that was a shot at first. All right, Veers no good on her shot. Uh, oh, no. Ball into Atkins. Yates, man, Yates will Yates travel. On with travel. It. Scales at the volleyball line. Over to Zimpleman on the left. Smith, the top of the key. Over to the right to Scales. Ooh, that was a really good pass. And shot drops. For Maddie Smith. Atkins to Hepler, to Yates. Atkins over on the left. Hepler, top of the key. Yates on the right, she'll drive towards the baseline. Puts it up a little too hard. Out of bounds off the rebound attempt on the Lady Comets. Gates back baseline, puts in a contested two. It's good, and she'll draw the foul. Fouls on Maddie Smith, her first, team first. Shot off the back of the rim. Out of bounds off of the Trojans.
Scales to Smith on the right. Top of the key. Scales for three, off. Atkins to Yates. Down to the post, nice fake. Shot by Veer is no good. Lady comments with that rebound. Yates in the center ring. Over to Atkins on the left. Hepler comes across the top of the key. Back to Atkins, looking to get the ball inside. Lady Comets not letting that happen without a fight. Back to Hepler. Good help down there after that screen. Nearly picked off that pass. Ooh, almost that had one. that pass, too. Yates for three, and it's in. That'll tie the score up, five all. Smith. That was Oliver. Oliver, uh, sorry, I for, didn't finish my statement. Yep. Smith to Oliver at the elbow, shot was no good. Zimpleman tries to go coast to coast, gets swatted on the way to the basket. We have a harness in for Oliver. Scales looking for an inbound. Gonna go deep to Harness. Harness to Scales on the right. She'll go baseline for a step, puts it in for two. That was a lot of coverage to be making that pass. That, that really was. That would, even if she would have caught that, that would have been putting her player in a lot of trouble. With that much impact, I'm almost surprised they didn't call a four foul on that. I mean, yeah, but it was, I don't it know who they would have necessarily called it on because it was just a lot of contact between each player. Bound down to the post, gonna kick it back out. Shot for three by Atkins is no good. Lady Comets getting that rebound. Pass ahead, no good. Man, 30 second timeout. 322 left in the first. Lady Comets seven, Lady Trojans five. You know, Blair, this is the first girls game that I've been to so far for this year. And, uh, you know, I've like followed along with it a little bit while at college, but I heard about how strong of an asset like the freshmen were coming in. And you would not be able to tell that Isabel and uh, Zimpleman hadn't played before, like in varsity, in right. a varsity game. Yeah, they, they definitely just fit into the rhythm and speed of it very well. They play yeah, as a they, team and... They absolutely came up in a way that you don't always see freshmen make mm -hmm. that transition. Uh, but I know that they put in a lot of work in their junior <coughs> high um, and even elementary. They right. always went hard. They were doing camps. Um, and they just definitely bring a lot to the team. Not just playing wise, but so far from what I've seen, you know, they're even-minded, they don't get angry, um, they just play the game. Yeah. Yates nearly tipping that pass out of bounds. I wasn't sure about that pass to Harness. She was in some tight coverage, but Lady Comets really moving that ball, trying to make that work. Hepler across midcourt, over to Yates on the left, or right. 
Veers. To Hepler. Down underneath. Hostrosser looking for help. Out to Yates. Yates for three. Off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Harness pulling that rebound in really well. Smith to Harness. Harness in trouble. Back to Smith. Up to Zimpleman. Cross court. Zimpleman for, for three. three. And, and it's, it's good. good. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. Atkins to Yates. Yates to Hostrosser. Atkins for three. Off the rim. Ooh, Should hit her own rebound. Three hands. And puts it back in for two. Scales losing control of that ball. And we'll have a jump. Triton will take it on the arrow. Brianna Yarber coming in for the comments. And Jalen Buell's in for the Trojans. Atkins over to Yates. Yates to Buell's. Over to Atkins on the right. And it'll be a kick for the comments. Ball into Buells. Atkins back to Buells. Three pointer good for Hepler. That gives Triton the lead here this afternoon. One minute left in the quarter. Scales looking for the play. Over to Yarber. Yarber to Zimpleman. Back to Yarber. Yarber in. Looking for a pass and picked off by Yates. Oh. We had a tip there, I don't know by who, but Isabel Scales recovered the ball. Zimpleman goes baseline. Ooh, she's in trouble down below. And picked off again by Yates. Yates has some vertical. Atkins. Top of the key to Hepler. Over to Yates. Trojans run down that clock a little bit. Yates, she's going to go in. Up. And no good. Out of bounds. The Comets ball. Not going to lie. I thought that was off of Izzy last. But. I'm surprised they did not call that as a moving screen. And at the end of one, Triton 12, cast in 10. Well, after that first eight minutes of play, I've got to say, those lady comments have to keep their eye on Yates. Yates, yes. Because she can transition from horizontal to vertical, and she's got some ups. Uh, she's definitely looking at who they've been playing. She's definitely the strongest player on their team so far. She offers the most as of, like, outside versus inside shot. She is willing to drive, mm -hmm. and she can shoot the three. Yeah. Um, but and what and they can't pass over her. Exactly. They've tried multiple times with that over-the-head pass. And, I mean, those just don't work that often. No. They're, uh, they're such a low percentage pass, and it's hard to – har That's it's what caught the comments up there at the end was they were getting in a hurry and there was too many over-the-head passes. Yeah. And those work occasionally. Uh, like Scales had a few that were inside to Klinger and across the court to Zimpleman, and those worked well. But when you throw them in every other pass, that's when they catch on right. to um, the theme of where you're going to. Right. Yarber over on the left. Yates all over her. 
Scales for three. Off the mark. Yates with the putback. No good. Zimpleman now. Oh, that was a lot of contact. And we'll have a jump ball. Triton taking the possession arrow. That's a foul on Lane Oliver. It is her first, push. team second. Ball out off of Oliver, it looks like. Yates was at the post. Quick move by Yarber to get her covered. Was very wide open there for. Oh. Picked by a Zimpleman. Scales looking to go coast to coast. She got tripped up a little bit. No call on that. Ooh. Zimpleman needs to get down there. She, and right. she stopped her. There we go. Picked by Isabel Scales. Scales coast to coast, draws the foul. Nearly slid out to the yeah. lobby. There was a really great hustle right there. Um, especially, you know, Addison, she did lose the ball, but I was impressed that she got back down and she got her stop before the layup Absolutely. with no foul. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Veer's picking up a foul there. Her first, team second. Scales at the line for two. First shot, doesn't quite drop for her. Second shot, textbook. Ball into Atkins. Cross midcourt. Over to Yates on the right. Veers at the top of the key. Over to Atkins on the left. Yates in and out. Loses control of the ball. Buells helps her out. Post Rosser versus there we go, there nice we go. Nice pick. Zimpleman, coast to coast, can't quite complete. Oh. Harness with the putback, no good. Yeah. Foul there on Taryn Yates, her first, team third. Smith back in for the Comets. 34, Addison Veers. I think she was already in. I didn't catch who the Trojan subbed in. Smith into the paint. She goes up with it. Off the it front was of the a, rim. It was definitely a good take. Hepler to Yates. Inside the host roster. Good ball movement here by the Trojans. Yates up in the center circle. Over to Hepler on the right. Host roster top of the key. There we go. Lane Oliver getting in the middle of that pass. Long two by Smith is good. Smith. Lady Comets pulling back into the lead here. Float pass underneath. So, so Leaner far, off the glass that is good. Is their, the Trojans' favorite pass to make. They make a lob pass into the block. It may or may not get there, but that's where they've been, I feel like, getting most of their points other than uh, Yates' threes. Yeah. Yarber out to Smith around the outside. Yates coming out the meter. We have Klingler back in for the Comets. Veers and Atkins back in 
for the Trojans. And Zempelman back in for the Comets. Scales bring the ball to the top of the key. Over to Smith on the right. Smith goes baseline. Oh. Kicks it up to the top of the key. And have an over and back. It was a very good look on the inside of her passing through. And it was almost wide open right there. It just yeah. was kind of too hard of a pass. It went through two sets of hands, actually. Yeah. Full timeout called. Just over half of the second quarter remains to play. Triton 14, Caston 13. Ball into the backcourt to Atkins. Over to Hepler. Hepler sends it down to the post. Dish back out to Atkins. Three point off the mark. Smith, baseline down to the post. Long two by Zimpleman off the mark. Great save attempt by Scales. I almost thought she had it off of uh, the Trojans before she actually stepped out of bounds. Pass by the Trojans a little too hard. Scales Zimpleman, Zimpleman for three. And it's good. She has such a clean shot. She does. Uh, it was so easy up and in. I mean, she was perfectly wide open. Good pressure being put on by the comments here. And great ball movement being done here by the Trojans. Mm -hmm. Trying to find a hole in that defense. Hepler for three, off the mark, out of bounds. I say they definitely are looking for an inside shot and not an outside shot. You can tell the outside shooting is not their strong suit. Right. Uh, and, you know, I noticed that we used to be in that same problem, but now a lot of our points are coming from the outside. Um, so we've kind of transitioned to being able to do both, which it appears that they need an inside shot. Yeah. A little bit of a stumble there. <laughs> Left veer's wide open. Passes over to Hepler. Ball underneath, and pass goes nowhere except to a comment. Scales at the volleyball line. She'll send it over to Smith on the right. Smith to Zimpleman. Scales on the left. Volleyball line to Smith. Scales for, for three. three. Oh, off the back of the rim. And oh, out of bounds off blue. blue. Yates back in for the Trojans.
looks like the comments didn't necessarily have enough time to set up what they wanted to. Um. Smith goes in, dishes across the court. Up to Zimpleman, that was nearly picked. Smith goes baseline, draws a foul. Fouls on 24, Abby Veers, her second, team fourth. Smith to the line for two. In and out. Second shot off the back of the rim. That's Over the back there on Smith. It'll be her second. Comet's pulling up a um, press. I can't tell. I believe it's a diamond press. Cross court pass. There we go. And great, great stop there by Klinger. Zimpleman for three. three. A little short. Smith tries to get the put back. And she'll draw a foul as she goes up. Foul was on number 34, Addison Veers. Her first, team fifth. Smith of the line for two. Off the front of the rim. And Jalen Buell's back in for the Trojans. <laughs> Yarber back in for the Comets. Comets putting that press back on. Yates in double coverage over to Hepler. Hepler to Atkins. Yates open. No good on the three. Harness across midcourt. Yarber for a long two. Off the mark. Or, uh, yeah, Comet's forcing some uh, intricate passing to get over midcourt there. There we go. Scales right there, forcing a turnover. Zimpleman looking for some help. Scales wide open, long two, off the mark. Almost, oh. That rebound got knocked out of her hands by another Comet. <laughs> Man, Yates just loses Yates control of that dribble. Yates is definitely not happy, though. No, and mm -hmm. she's, it looks like uh, the, the more frustrated she gets, the more she's rushing the play. And, uh, and what's, what does it, I don't really understand because I've just noticed throughout the progression of this game is she has progressively just gotten more angry. Yeah. Uh, and there's no reason to be just because Triton has been in it the entire time. And there's not necessarily anything that's provoked right. a major downfall. Right. Well, as the ladies go into the locker room for halftime, cast in 17, Triton. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So some first half stats here today. Lady Comets shooting three for seven outside the arc, shooting just three for 14 from inside, uh, and two for six from the line. Lady Comets went into the locker room with three fouls on the half. Uh, Lady Trojans, two for eight from behind the three, four for eight inside, and 0 for one from the free throw line. Um, Lady Trojans went in the locker room, sitting on five fouls for the team. And uh, I think that relatively clean first half really helped the uh, Lady Comets out. Uh, and then obviously the fact that they had 
nearly twice the twice the looks from inside. Obviously, mm -hmm. those extra opportunities help a lot. Um, turnover wise, Lady Comets had 17 turnovers in the first half, and Lady Trojans had 22. So forcing those turnovers and uh, getting those opportunities. Lady Comets just need to work on. Uh, it's a lot of little things right it, now. It, it really is because there haven't been a lot of shots that were incredibly off the mark. Mm -hmm. uh, they were a lot of looks. Uh, scales, for instance, outside, her outside shooting. Uh, she's 0 for 3 outside, but they were all off the top of the rim and just didn't quite roll the yeah. way she needed. So, um, The biggest problems come that I've noticed so far is just when they get in too much of a hurry. Then the passes get sloppy. They don't right. really look for what is the best shot. It's just what is the quickest shot that I can get off. Right. Uh, and so that's kind of when we lose it a little bit. But it's when we can actually set something up and go through with a play that so far we've shown like our best uh, assets and had our best shots taken. Right. Right. Well, uh, just over three minutes left here in halftime. Go ahead and refill your beverage, grab you another snack, and we'll be back in three minutes for second half action here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. All righty, second half, getting ready to get underway here. And Simple Men will send it into scales to start this second half of play. Over to Simple Men on the left. Smith scales. Smith for three. Off the back of the rim. And Trojans get that rebound. 
gates to Hepler. Ooh, wow, she definitely hesitated on that one. She, I heard her coach say, why shoot it? Uh, gates to he uh, Atkins. Hepler. There we go, we have a steal by Zimpleman. And she goes coast to coast, puts it in 4-2. Pulling pressure up for that defense. Getting her into coverage. Uh, wow, Ooh, I'm surprised seeing that. Seeing a gap there. They actually got out of that trap. That was a long step on that pivot. Kind of uh, thought yeah. she was going to uh, get called for a travel on that. Zimpleman to Smith. Scales on the left. Up the volleyball line to Zimpleman. Back to Scales. Scales for three. It's just a little short. And Scales stepping out of bounds as she goes baseline. Uh, that was a foul oh. on 22. <laughs> Look at me, I can't see. Which is Emma Hepler. Her first, team first in the half. Atkins appearing out of nowhere there to cover Zimpleman. Klinger for two, for two. there That's we go. Good. Cross court pass. Another cross court pass. Really good pressure being applied there by mm -hmm. the Comets. And over the back there on Klingler. That'll be her first, team first in the half. They almost need to pull another defender into the middle on the support line so that they have someone in front of the player and behind her because they've made that pass many times and that's where they've gotten a lot of their points too. Yeah. Veers, first one is good. Second shot, also good. Notably, I've seen too, the Trojans aren't applying any pressure on the inbound. Scale's nearly losing that. Harness Ooh. in trouble. Hostrasser oh, back to Yates, cross court to Hepler, Hepler for three, and it's good. Scales Smith, Smith down to the post. There we go. Klingler for two. Good little dump down there for Jordan Klinger. Oh. Foul here on on Scales, her first, team second. Oliver back in for the Comets. Ball into Atkins in the backcourt. Atkins to Yates. Yates to Hepler. Hepler tries to send a baseline to Atkins, out of bounds. It's like Zimpleman got a hand on her right before it went out. There we go, Smith with the steal there. Yates coming up behind her though, knocking it out of bounds. Oliver sends it oh. deep to Scales and gets stripped. Oh, clean. Clean swat there for Isabel Scales. Atkins looking for the inbound. 
There we go. Klingler swats it back out. Gerber back in for the Comets. Atkins tries to send it into the post. Ooh. Yarber, it's a one on oh, a little three too hard situation. there. Yeah. I was to say, it was one person against three Trojans. Uh, she probably should have pulled that one back to the top and waited for backup at least to rebound just in case. Foul. I believe that's a foul on number 22. 22. Emma Hepler. Her second, team second. Zimpleman to Smith, to Yarber, back to Smith. She'll go in towards the paint. Oh, oh in, and, in out. and out. Triton with that rebound. Uh, where'd it go, where'd it go? <laughs> Ooh, I think Yates might have taken an elbow to the head on that. It's like almost getting that steal, but it looked like they just kind of lost sight of where the ball actually went. Ball into the backcourt. Zimpleman waiting for Atkins. Ball to Yates. Yates to Atkins. Into the elbow. Back out to Atkins. Atkins A for three. Long three. And off the mark. Out of bounds. Ball into scales. Scales to Yarber. Yarber to Zimpleman. Scales on the left. Yarber up at the volleyball line. Back to scales. Scales for three. And, and it's it good. Drops. Atkins. Left, cuts back center, excuse me, right. Atkins top of the key to Veers. Oh. Ooh. I can't believe she kept her feet on that. Yarber putting a lot of pressure on, forces the turnover. And a foul on number 20. Uh, Jalen Buells. Jalen Buells, yeah. It'll be her first. And timeout for the Trojans. That was Triton's third foul in the, in the half. 236 remains in the third quarter here. Caston has pulled ahead to a five point lead. Uh, I'm impressed so far. It's been a fairly clean game. It really has. There have been a few things that uh, the visiting crowd that's around us has wanted called, but I think the refs are doing a pretty fantastic job here today. Gales looking for that inbound. Sends it into Yarber. Going Ooh. for that over top. Zimpleman can't quite complete on that shot. I was gonna say she was wide open there. Coach Douglas not happy about the lack of communication that was happening there for a moment. Well, they lost sight of 
Triton's best player. Atkins to Yates. Over to Buells. Buells inside the three-point arc. And that'll be a foul on Bailey Harness. And that'll be her first, team third. Atkins. That was off someone's foot. I think that was off of Lane Oliver. She was hustling over there to try to get in between that pass. Buells out to Yates. Yates looking for some help. Back to Buells. Oh. Buells the host roster. The Yates. Yeah, that was a little bit of a hold. <laughs> hold there on Brianna Yarber. Her first, team fourth. Gates fakes, drives in, dishes out. Open look, and it's good. Number 24, Abby Veers. Scales to Yarber. Yarber to Zimpleman, back to Scales. Scales into the paint. I'm drawing that foul. Should go to the line for two. Foul, 24, Abby Veers, her third, team fourth. Scales the line for two. First shot is good. And Smith back in for the Comets. Hepler and Veers back in for the Trojans. Second shot, good. Thomas putting pressure back on. And that was just a rough inbound. Scales goes up, ah. shots off the mark. Yates driving along the right side of the court. Yerba trying to force a turnover there. Dishes Thumbs it to the elbow. Again. And put back is good. Smith over here on the right. Yarber at the volleyball line. Smith drives into the paint, goes up with it. Shot's no good. Oh. Uh, I think that's a foul on 24. Mm -hmm. uh, Abby Veers. That'll be her fourth. Team five. Got Zimpleman coming back in for the comments. And Hostrosser back in for the Trojans. Three point game, 21 seconds left here in the third. Scales for three. It's and good. It's good. Clock running. Oh, they're calling that. I don't think uh, well, Maddie think even touched that. I think she straight just threw that out of bounds. I, I think so. Regardless, good pressure being put on by the comments here. Nine seconds left in the quarter. To Yates. Yates puts it up, and oh, it's big good. Oh, in. And at the end of three, Caston 31, Triton 27. Still absolutely anybody's ball game here today. And it looks like Maddie, something happened. I didn't really catch what happened. Uh, I think I see uh, Jordan working on her ankle, so some may have uh, planted and twisted wrong here.
Smith having a hard time putting weight on that ankle. And hopefully this is one of the situations where it's not actually her. It just you need to walk it off a little bit so yeah. she can come back uh, later within the game. Man, that was a close quarter, Aubrey. Yes. Uh, Comet scoring 14, Trojans scoring 13. Yeah, uh, I don't really know what's going to happen in this next quarter. It's definitely anybody's ball game. Uh, and, I mean, it's been fairly high scoring. It's both teams are scoring, but they're making just the same little mistakes, you know, a bad pass here, not really paying attention here. It's just... It can go either direction. Yep. All right, ball in play. Yates in the backcourt. Cross center center court. Ball over to Hostrosser. Hostrosser picking it up, sends it to Hepler. Hepler across the top of the key to Yates at the volleyball line. Back to Hepler. Hepler back to Hostrosser. To Yates on the right. And we have That's a shove a in the back on, on Harness. Harness. Her second. Team five. And we have Kinsey Atkins back in for the Trojans. Ball in deep to Veers. Over to Yates. Yates will bring it up back to the volleyball line. No look pass to Atkins on the left. Veers, oh. top of the key. Yates nearly loses that. She sends it over to Atkins. Atkins to Hepler. Hepler versus Zimpleman here. Oh, and that's a foul on Isabel Scales. That'll be her second, team six. And she'll send Addison Veers to the line for one. Veers gets three the hard way. Scales to Zimpleman. Harness back to Scales. Zimpleman, top of the key, back to Scales. Scales goes towards the post. Oh. Mad scramble on the floor. Jump ball. Comets will keep it. Scales to harness. Zimpleman in the center ring. Bad pass there, inside. Hepler picks it off. Hepler to, to Veers. Shot's no good. Zimpleman looking for the play. Uh, she should just take it right down there, right to the middle and force them. Scales draws the foul on the shot. Fouls on number 32, Lexia Hostrosser. It's her second. Team six. Scales of the line for two. First shot rattles in and out. Second shot, a little long. Ooh. 
Yates loses control of that ball. Sends it to Hepler. Hepler trapped. And coach calls a timeout and saves it. It's frustrating to get trapped along that sideline. Yeah, especially when, you know, it wasn't necessarily your fault that you got put in that spot. Right. Um, Yates kind of passed her into it because she lost the ball a little bit, and so it made it difficult to find a pass, and so I was the first one that appeared open. Yep. And with 5.47 left on the clock, we're sitting at a one-point ball game. Hepler sends it to the backcourt to Atkins. Harness waiting for her. Over to Abby Veers. Yates sends it to Atkins, back to Hepler. Atkins over on the right. That was right to Oliver. Oliver going for the layup. Mm. Gets Drawing fouled by, foul. I believe that was on Atkins. That'll be her first, team seven. Oliver at the line for two. First shot, just a little shy. Uh, second shot off the back. There we go. And Klingler puts Good it back for two. Good put back there for Klingler. Comets have pulled pressure, I see. Atkins to Yates. Ooh, Yates to Veers. Oliver blew past her. Yates, no, oh, she's wide open. Quick movements by Zimpleman. Save that. Must be a slick spot on the floor there. I don't know if you saw that. Yates slipped a little. Atkins out oh. to Yates. Zimpleman overruns her. Three-pointer, Atkins. Ties it up, 33 all. Zumpleman back and forth over to Scales. I thought Scales was going to fall out of bounds. I did too. Zumpleman for three. three. Oh, a little long. Zumpleman again, and it'll be white ball. be a foul there on number 24, Abby Veers. Which will be her fifth. She'll take a seat. Her sister Addison Veers coming in. Oliver at the line for two. A little off the mark. Second shot's good. Good. 
Atkins nearly loses that ball. I say that ball, that pass almost hitting uh, her right in the back of the head there actually when the, on the rebound or inbound. Tight coverage played on host roster there. Yates thought she was gonna be open when she got that pass. Tight defense played by the comments here. Hepler looking for some help. The count going. There we go, there we go. Simple finish, getting finish. that pass. Goes coast there to coast go. and it's good. Good finish, good finish for Addison Zimpleman. And timeout called out here on the floor. 3.32 on the clock, three point game. Coming back out, Commons bringing back up the pressure, trying to force that turnover. Good ball movement here by the Trojans. Buells cross midcourt. Over to Yates on the right. Yates breaks in, backs out, kicks it to Atkins, back at the volleyball line. Buells versus Scales now. Backs her way in, kicks it out to Atkins. For Atkins three for three. Short. Zumpelman bringing the ball across midcourt. Harness. Harness inside to Klingler. Klingler needs to turn around and like look for a shot. Cause she was wide open on the front side of the hoop. Scales for three, just a little shy. Yates to Buells. Buells back to Yates. Yates to the top of the key. Shot off the mark for oh. Veers. Jump ball, Triton will keep it. Ball in, Yates has it to the volleyball line. Back to Atkins over on the right. Top of the key to uh, Veers. Back to Yates, Yates from the paint. And it's good. One point game, 150 to play. Over to Zimpleman on the right. Harness over the volleyball line. Zimpleman scales. Scales will drive towards baseline. Top of the key to Harness. Harness getting away with the travel there. She uh, switched her pivot feet there. Ah. Uh. Harness drawing the drawing foul. foul. Foul there on number 32, Lexia Hostrosser, her third. Team eight. Harness will go to the line for one and one. 
Hepler back in for Triton. and some nice backspin mm. on that. Oh. Second shot, just a touch Getting long. Getting her own rebound. Great hustle there by Bailey Harness. Getting her own rebound. And good play by the coaching staff calling a timeout. Mm -hmm. Still just a two point game, 78 seconds on the clock. And in spite of your uh, earlier hopes, I do see that Maddie Smith is over in her warm up. So mm. hopefully that ankle injury doesn't hold her out for too long. It's only 118 left on the clock, Blair. I really don't know where this is game, where this game is going to oh, go yeah. because looking at the score, I mean. It's literally anybody's. A three-pointer can win if you hold them. Like, if one team can hold one to not scoring and they get a three, you know. Oh, yeah. It's just it can go either way very quickly. And we know both teams have so far so far shown that they're capable of anything. Absolutely. Uh, and no shot is out of their range. Ball in to Zimpleman. Yates, really tight defense mm -hmm. there. Scales backing herself to the half trying, court. Line. Trying to pull the foul out. Dish down to Klingler. They just Klingler can't get to too caught up in the speed of the game. And he foul being called foul. there. Scales at the line for two. First shot's good. There we go. Good. There good we balance. go. And that makes it a two possession game. Yes. 47 seconds on the clock. Yates calling for the ball. As long as we don't <laughs> get any uh, fouls out here. Right. And the comments can hold them to only one more shot. But I almost guarantee you if they do get a shot and they're going to uh, oh, keep pull up on. the defense for sure. Absolutely. Oh, man. Timeout Triton. Last timeout for Triton right there. 22 seconds on the clock. Four point ball game, cast an advantage. And realistically, at, at this point, I think that a really solid strategy for Triton is going to be try to draw that foul. Yeah, I definitely agree. And 
I'm assuming that's probably what they're going to try to do. Uh, if not, they're going to try and set up uh, Yates for a three. Yeah, three and then a heavy pressure. Uh, I can definitely see them setting up her for the three uh, on the outside of an op or at least on the opposite side. Or looking, oh, drawing that foul. And that should be a one and one because that puts them in the bonus. Yep, foul there on Klingler, her second, team seven. Addison Veer is at the line for one and one. Veer is one for one so far this afternoon. Honestly, the Comets probably would have been better off of just simply letting her get that ball in and taking that two-foot shot and trying to just simply get the rebound if it happened to bounce back. Uh, because Scales and Zimpleman show that they are strong enough to be able to hold their own. Scales trying to get across midcourt. There you go, just dribble it for 10 more seconds. And oh foul my here goodness. on Hepler. That'll be she her She just third. had five more seconds left. Scales at the line for two more. First shot's good. There you go. Two possession game. Five seconds on the clock. One more shot from the free throw line. Second there shot, we good. Go. I say, Comets should definitely just pull it back and don't run the risk of a foul. And there's the ball game. Final score here today, Caston 41, Triton 36. And, uh, we're going to run some stats here and uh, hopefully can get uh, Coach Douglas uh, At the end of four, Lady Comets shooting five for 13 from outside, only eight for 28 from inside, shooting 50% from the line, 10 for 20. Uh, the Lady Trojans just uh, some few, a lot fewer looks is, is one of the big stories here today. They shot four for 12 from outside, 10 for 18 inside the arc, and four for six when they had an opportunity to go to the line. Uh, so I think that once again, that much like the first half, the real story was just attempts on, on target because uh, unfortunately the Lady Comets uh, bucket percentage today just wasn't what I'm sure Coach Douglas was looking for. And I'm sure that uh, he'll have something to say to that effect at practice on Monday. So, uh, Coach Douglas heading this way. I don't know if I can get to his attention or not. Say, so, I don't know if he's coming up here. Or I thought he was. He looked like he was heading this way with some intentionality, and then looks like he's having a little powwow with the rest of the coaches. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Uh, join us again Tuesday evening for uh, Lady Comets basketball against the uh, Pioneer Lady Panthers. Should be uh, some good basketball. JV tip-off is scheduled for 6 p.m. And then uh, Aubrey and I will be back on the call for the varsity game at 7.30. Until then, thank you for joining us. This has been Lady Comets basketball on Caston TV here on RTC TV4.